welcome back to my channel. I did this really nice, sultry, like smoky, sexy, navy, blue, sparkly eyeshadow look. I've actually had this idea in my head for the longest time, but if you guys know me, you know that I don't really use a lot of color on my channel, but I'm trying to do more color and I'm trying to like experiment more with colors and everything. So this is definitely a step for me. So I actually think that this is a super wearable navy blue eyeshadow look and it's definitely more dramatic. It's sultry, it's sexy, and I think it is really pretty. And this would also look amazing for the holiday season and for like New Year's Eve, honestly, for whatever. So if you guys want to see how I got this like sultry, starry night navy blue eyeshadow look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get right into this eyeshadow tutorial. As you can see, I do have this eye done and I look pretty crazy right now, but I promise you it'll be all balanced out once I complete this eye. So first I do have my eyebrows done and I can link in the description box my tutorial of like my everyday kind of brow routine. So I don't have concealer on this eye because it's gonna get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna just do the concealer once this eye is done. So it's just like an easier cleanup. So first let's just prime the eyelids. And I'm gonna be using this Morphe eyelid primer. This is their translucent one. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see the eyeshadow better. So I'm just blending in that primer. I'm actually going to be using a lot of the shadows from this ColourPop So Jaded eyeshadow palette. So this palette's really nice because it has like this really beautiful like navy blue shade and that is a shade that just kind of inspired me to do this look because I had like this kind of sparkly like really deep navy blue eyeshadow look in my head so when I saw this shadow I knew that I had to use this palette. So in the crease I'm going to be using this ColourPop E22 brush and I'm going to go into this beautiful matte kind of like yellowy brown shade here in the palette. That one is called Geodude and I'm just going to blend that out all into the crease. So using that same ColourPop blending brush, I'm gonna go into this matte, kind of like chocolatey, purpley shade here in the palette called Jasper, and I'm also gonna blend that into the crease. So we're just gonna create kind of like a nice base in the crease for that beautiful navy blue shade. So I'm kind of keeping it a little bit on the warm side. So that's why I'm gonna go into this nice kind of purpley brown shade here called Jasper. Okay, so you can see that we do have some fallout, but that is why I did not do my concealer because I just want to make sure everything's nice and clean, especially when you're using like, these dark like blue colors. They're very staining, so it's kind of a risk to do your makeup first. So at least have your concealer free so then you can just use a wet wipe and wipe everything away and make sure that everything is really nice and clean and put together. So now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop E1 brush here and I'm going to go into that beautiful blue shade. That shade is called Sapphire and I'm just going to kind of like pack it onto the lid and slowly blend it out into the crease just to kind of create what we have going here, how everything looks really nice and smoked out. So that blue shadow you will get a lot of fallout with that shadow as you can see it looks like i have a black eye right now but we're gonna clean that up so i just have a little makeup removing wipe here and i'm gonna make sure that i wipe away all of that blue shadow okay so i'm just gonna put on some concealer and then i will be right back to continue with this look Okay, so now just to add a little bit of that like brighter metallic kind of navy blue color, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade called Adequate. And it's a really nice like metallic-y like navy blue shade here. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of that on with my fingertips and just like blend it on the lid. Okay, so you guys can see that that 
super shock shadow really added like a bit of like brightness to that kind of more like subdued navy blue so i really like the way that that looks on top of that shadow and now for that beautiful sparkle that you guys see on the other side i'm going to be using this pixie fairy lights eyeshadow here this one is in the shade called starry night and this totally gave me the vibe of like the look that i'm going for like i just like picture this is like kind of like a dark blue starry night type of look so this was just like perfect so i'm going to use some of that on with this ColourPop e25 brush here and i'm just going to like place some onto the lid and kind of just like blend it out very like lightly i don't want it to be too sparkly but i do want just like a nice kind of fine layer of sparkles on the lid line i'm going to go in with the small pencil brush from ColourPop. this is their e28 brush and i'm going to go back into that really nice dark blue shade here in the palette called sapphire and i'm just going to kind of blend that on the lower lash line and smoke it out a little bit ColourPop creme gel liner in the shade called DTLA and it's a really nice matte navy blue shade so I'm just gonna place that in the waterline so I really love the way gold and blue look together so for the inner corner of my eyes I love to do like a nice bright highlight I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade called 997 eternal sunshine and I used to be obsessed with these and I still am they're really beautiful but I sometimes forget to use them and they're just really beautiful shadows so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe JH42 little brush here and I'm just gonna place that nice like metallic gold on the inner corner So I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop on a pair of lashes and I use the House of Lashes Clear Lash Glue for that. So I will link these specific lashes that I use in the description box down below. So that is the completed look. So this is like my blue starry night type of eyeshadow look. And I think that it's really nice. I've always wanted to do kind of like a really nice navy kind of sparkly blue look. So I'm happy that I got to do one for you guys. I usually do a lot of like more neutral looks and I've even kind of experimented with like greens, but blue eyeshadow I don't really do a lot of on my channel. So I think that this is like a super like wearable, really like sultry, smoky kind of blue eye look. So this would look amazing for holidays for like any kind of party or event and also for new year's eve i think this would be really nice even though i'm sure there's not going to be a lot of new year's eve plans this year but even if it's just you at home with a loved one then you can still dress up and try to make it fun but i think that this navy blue is like super wearable and really pretty so i love the way it turned out i would like to know if you guys liked it if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i hope that you guys are having an amazing december an amazing holiday and are staying safe because that is the most important thing staying healthy and safe during these times of course so i love you guys thank you so much for all of your sweet comments and support honestly your comments make my day and i love reading them it honestly just gives me such a great feeling so thank you guys to everyone who comments it means so much to me so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye